It is not uncommon to spot dogs loitering around the streets in Kampala. You might as well have come across puppies or kittens dumped or abandoned by the roadside. Meet Hope, a former street dog. Hope was one of those abandoned puppies that grew up traversing the streets of Kampala to find solace. She finally found love at Nakawa Taxi Park. But one day, while resting behind a taxi, its driver reversed, running over her. While all who watched thought that she was dead, Wounded Hope dragged herself away, using her front limbs as her hind legs could not support her anymore. In the days that followed, Hope's condition worsened. She also developed a skin disease that caused her fur to fall out. Weakened and very unsightly, she became an outcast at Nakawa Taxi Park. Her reprieve only came when an employee of the Uganda Society for the Protection and Care of Animals came across Hope. The organization picked Hope and brought her to this shelter in Buya called The Haven, where she underwent treatment and rehabilitation. While the veterinary doctors attended to her, they realized Hope would never walk again and that she needed a wheelchair. An American organization donated a wheelchair to Hope that she now uses around the compound. Hope is just one of the over 100 dogs and cats undergoing rehabilitation at the Haven Shelter in Buya under the Uganda Society for the Protection and Care of Animals. We can receive a phone call with a report that there is an injured dog. There is one which has been knocked by a car and left by the roadside. If they are puppies, sometimes people don't know how to look after puppies or they don't have resources to look after the young ones. So they just tie them in a polythene bag and throw them on a rubbish heap. These animals are brought in from different parts of Kampala and the neighboring areas. The organization carries out frequent random field visits to bring in homeless dogs and cats from the communities. Uh, people are caring for people, but then no one is caring for the animals. And there were all these animals lying on the streets, you know. Um, they are suffering, no one cares. And they are reproducing at a very high rate that there is danger for disease. You know, if there's an outbreak of rabies, we shall have a problem. Once brought to the center, the animals undergo treatment, including vaccination and sterilization. Only one dog will get rabies, spread it in the entire town, and each and every person who is bitten by a rabid dog will fall sick. So we thought that also by controlling the population of these dogs, removing them from the streets and treating them, it would have, you know, um, uh, a chain reaction. When they recover, the animals can be rehomed. Anyone is welcome to adopt either a dog or a cat as a pet. We normally ask for the basic amount of money, say for a vaccination. You just reimburse the amount for the vaccination. If I've done a surgery, you just reimburse that amount of money for the surgery. This project so far runs only here in Kampala, but the population of such homeless animals grows by the day. On average, the shelter receives five animals daily and a number of people willing to adopt. Over 100 dogs and 40 cats live here. This shelter has over 40 former stray cats. The caretakers say, unlike the dogs, it is very hard to tame the cats. Once it jumps out, it is gone. To get these cats here, the staff use traps, as they might not be friendly as the dogs. For many, this special care to animals is trivial, but the cost of neglecting them has a far-reaching impact on public health. Say twice a year, she will give 12 puppies each time. So those are 24 dogs being thrown out on the streets. So imagine you have 100 female dogs. Each one is producing 24 annually. So you have over 2,400 dogs all over the place. Gertrude to the same with Kwari. NTV.